Thick smoke from this week's fire at Morton State Forest created such incredibly dangerous driving conditions. Good evening, everyone. I'm Michelle Don Mooney. As one motorist put it, I had to open my car door just to see the yellow line on the road. Things in the town of Hamilton come to a standstill this morning, and as Cleve Bryan reports, it could happen again. A massive fire continues just underground in Wharton State Forest, creating smoke that can be overwhelming. It was terrible. I mean, it was so foggy you couldn't see, you couldn't drive, and the smell just comes right in through your home. This morning, the smoke was so thick, Hamilton schools were closed. Because it was so dark, no one can do anything because you'll crash and smell like real bad, like the fire was still like going on. A weather phenomenon known as an inversion took place last night, caused by cold air settling over the fire, trapping smoke along roads and throughout town. Hot air rises, cold air sinks, so the smoke could no longer be lifted, so it sank and tried to seek out the lowest spots. Incredibly low visibility forced officials to close Route 206 from 9 o'clock last night until 11.30 this morning. And more preparations are underway in case another inversion happens tonight. We don't want to send traffic off the highway only to find another fog bank of smoke there to cause an accident. Fire officials say there's about three square miles that look like this smoldering terrain. But they are hopeful that rain, which forecasters predict tomorrow, could significantly improve the situation. But the rain has to be heavy and drenching to soak down to the fire. We get a very light shower. It's like putting a cup of, small cup of water onto your, your campfire or onto charcoal bed. It's just going to produce more smoke. And more thick smoke could keep many Hamilton residents stuck at home once again. You couldn't see in front of you, like six feet in front of you, you couldn't see. In Hamilton, Cleve Bryan, News Channel 40, NBC.